Welcome back. We're hiding from that huge cave troll or whatever it is. You can hear him stomping around. We can't quite see him. So he cannot get into this passage. So this is one of the places where you can wait out uh, until he uh, can hide until he uh, leaves. Another safe place are the stairs near the beginning. That's pretty much the only place. You might think you might be able to hide in some of the rooms, but no. Hiding behind um, the piles of rubble, that works for the guard, but it won't work for the big creature. So if the big creature spots you, you'd better uh, find a safe place to hide. And this is usually the easiest to get to. But we've uh, seen these symbols now, so we know what to do with the statues. And hopefully, um, if we set the st symbols on the statues correctly, this gate will open. So we can get at whatever's being hidden behind it. Um, let's uh, stay on this side for now. Because there is one of the statues on this side of the gate. And from here, um, you can just barely make out the symbol on the floor, which is um, sort of the zigzag symbol. Which is the symbol for um, the statue that's down here. And according to the gate, that symbol corresponds to the triangle. I keep thinking oh, that I meant to click this symbol. So we gotta rotate this. to set it to the triangle. This reminds me of the telephone puzzle on Aleus in Long Journey. Except that puzzle was a lot more complex. This puzzle is actually very, very simple. It's only made complex by the fact that you have to do it without being spotted by the guard. Which, in my opinion, is not a substitute for good puzzle design. Alright, um, well, this secret door here, besides being a good hiding place, also leads us back to um, the other side of the gate, where we were before we went through that cracked wall. There's two ways to get down through the door or through um, the hole in the wall. There's only one way to get back up, which is through the door. And as I demonstrated last time, you can still get caught here. Okay, next statue. Let's see what symbol is on the floor here. Sort of the hook-like symbol. And I hear the guard. I'm not sure if this is a safe hiding place. Nope, it's not. So, fortunately, we are close to the uh, secret door. So, we have to wait until the damn troll leaves again. As you cannot defeat him. It is impossible. A single hit from him and you're dead. There is no way you can fight this thing. The only way you can avoid dying is by not being spotted. It would be a lot easier if there was a way to just uh, kill the damn guard and be done with it, but as far as I know, that's not possible. That's such a shame, because this necropolis is a pretty uh, interesting location. An ancient culture built this place, probably the same culture that lived in that underground city. But our explorations are hampered by this stupid uh, sneaking around. Okay, well the symbol matching the hook is the envelope-like symbol, so that's what we need to set the statue to. Let's see if we can do that. I keep thinking. No time for April's uh, thoughts there. 
Oh, there comes the guard again. And this should lead us back to the stairs in the beginning, which, as I said before, is a safe place. You won't get spotted here. So I'm just gonna save here, because I got two of the statues set up right. And this one, um, well, we saw the symbol on the floor when we uh, just walked up here, and the corresponding statue symbol is the hourglass. This uh, whole section of the game might not seem so bad while I'm doing it right now. But let me tell you, this is horrible when you're doing it for the first time. Because I actually practiced this uh, more than once before doing this recording. So I would know the layout of the place and I would know where you can hide and where the creature won't be able to get at you. And the first time you're playing that, you don't know all that, and you constantly get caught, because you don't know how the the guard walks, and you don't know what pattern he follows, and you don't know where you can hide, and you constantly get caught out by these uh, hiding places that don't actually work. So then it's much, much worse. Right now it doesn't seem so bad, because I know what I'm doing. For instance, I know that he walks around on that side and then comes back. And since that's the only statue that I haven't set yet, I have to wait until he comes back so I can safely uh, set that particular statue to the remaining symbol, which is the crosshair. Uh, he's coming back this way. So let's... Uh, take some shelter until he passes. So now the guard, when he goes up the other way, he'll go through the secret door and patrol on the other side of the gate, so we're safe for a while now. Or should be anyway. And there we go! All four set up correctly. And it opens the gate, as we hoped it would. Now I just have to get there. I think the easiest way to do that is to go down this hall again. Nice landing! That's the wrong way. And it's up here. To the right. So this is where the secret door is. And the guard won't come in here or see you when you're in here either, for some reason. At least he never never has <laughs> before. He'll, let's hope I don't prove myself wrong. It looks like there's another sarcophagus here. Weird, these crystals are burning. Maybe the same kind of blue flame that they used elsewhere in Mercuria in the Longwood's Journey. Uh, well, let's see what's in the sarcophagus. It's a sarcophagus. There's something glowing in there, and I can hear a ticking sound. Hmm. That's usually not a good sign, is it? All this trouble, and all we want to do is get to the other side of the lake. If only you would have swam, we wouldn't have had to go through all this mess. There's a glowing object in there. And is that... ticking? It sounds like clockwork. Uh, it looks like an egg similar to the one Zoe uh, found and used to get out of the caves. Alright. Hopefully this will get that other gate open with the egg-shaped slot.
I'm just going to save again. In case the guard should spot us on the way to the exit. He'll probably won't, but... Uh, I'm using a map and I'm still taking <laughs> wrong turns. Yeah, that's another way why this looks uh, easier than it actually is. Because I'm using maps. I'm cheating a little bit. Well, we made it through here! Without dying even once. I'm so proud of myself. We'll continue in the next video.